Um, hello again. I've just completed Unit 15 um, of my online course. Um, this was about valuation and testing. So the types of tests that you do with your students um, from sort of the beginning stage when they come to you throughout the time that they're with you and then at the end when you're sort of in the examining stage. So it looked at types of tests, placement tests, like diagnostic tests, um, that kind of thing. It also, um, the bit that did interest me was about who could do a TEFL course, so what you kind of have to do before, if anything, um, and the variety of ways that there are to continuously sort of monitor progress. So. Um, sort of used to doing this in in sort of native speaking schools um but you don't really realize how much you're doing it actually and i think with with f like sort of tefl type stuff it it may be easier i don't know for for students to sort of fall behind faster if they're not understanding um or engaging so again it was kind of that um sort of reconfirming that you have to assess students individually and and continuously as well um so yeah it was really useful a, a lot of stuff about getting them ready for sort of um end of year stuff and and exam time and and practice units and mock exams and things like that um i thought this was quite a straightforward unit um not that different stuff that you would do in a sort of normal school sort of in england um so yeah, I guess just knowing the process when you when you do things. So when do you do a diagnostic test? How useful is it if you do it at the beginning as opposed to in the middle or the end of, of a course? So um, just just making sure you know when things should be done um, for to to be most productive, basically. Um, so yeah, really really good unit.